Chris is a healthy, active, uh, youthful 40-year-old um, who was annoyed that he was losing his hair. We did a single uh, follicular unit excision procedure. With Chris, we implanted about 1,800 follicles. And as I recommend with all my patients, I've encouraged him to use medical therapy as well. First noticed the hair loss uh, pictures from New Year's Eve, I want to say 2019, I believe it was. Uh, saw the pictures that my girlfriend had made us take. I was never big on pictures anyway, but once I saw those pictures and saw the hairline, my hair was short at the time, so it was easier to see. I don't know how I didn't see it in the mirror. You just don't until you see a picture from somebody else's perspective. I knew I had to do something about it. It definitely hurt my confidence, uh, my willingness to go out, me wanting to be in pictures. Um, you know, you name it, it definitely affected it. Went online, basically just looked up hair restoration. Um, obviously, you see a lot of people leaving country to go to hair restoration, like say Turkey, for instance. That was not really an option for me. I'm not big on traveling. I don't like to fly. He's the top guy of his area, and from what I saw, you know, it was worth definitely coming in for a consultation. It makes you feel comfortable, you know, makes you feel confident about the procedure itself. Really like him. Really nice guy. Very likable. Um, easy to work with. Easy to talk about things that may be uncomfortable for other people with him. And, you know, talking about hair loss is uncomfortable, you know, no matter who you are. So he, he does make it an easy process. So that, that I enjoyed. Dr. Bowden and I went over the hairline design, what he thinks would be best for me. I obviously wanted to have as much hair as possible put up front as I could, but you know, all in all that would look unnatural. So him guiding you through what's going to have the most natural look and showing you with the, you know, graphing on your own head and with his technology, it really shows you what's going to look best in his opinion. And him being the, you know, the specialist, you're definitely going to listen to what he has to say. So yeah, getting nervous about it but he makes you very comfortable. The staff here is unbelievable. I mean, they all concentrate on you. Wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, obviously you're gonna think the worst and it really was not that invasive considering. It's something I would consider doing again if I had to. It, it definitely was not unpleasant, but it's not something you really wanna do, you know, on a Saturday for fun, you know? So it was a little uncomfortable, but uh, you know, they make it as comfortable as it possibly can be considering. The recovery itself was easy. Easier than the procedure, in my opinion. I know some people had, you know, they give you painkillers for the pain, and I, I didn't experience any pain. A um, little uncomfortable as far as the healing process is concerned because you do get a lot of, you know, scabbing and, and stuff like that and a little bit of bleeding from the actual procedure. But following the directions they give you post-op, it, it's really not bad at all. I was concerned about being able to sleep, and that was not an issue at all. As far as post-op and how you wait to see the results, it's definitely a waiting game. You need to be patient. I didn't see any like results I could really stand behind and be happy about until about the six month mark. And then you really start to see it fill back in. But you know you can't be nervous at the beginning with the shedding and thinking the results aren't gonna be there because they are there, they will be there. It's just a little bit of a waiting game, waiting to see it. As far as how people reacted to my transformation, my you know family was obviously really supportive. Uh, my girlfriend's been really supportive. It's hard for me to see as many results as they see, because like I said, looking at yourself in the mirror is different than having people seeing you. I've seen pictures though, I, I can see the results, I can definitely see how it's made a difference. I've definitely had comments on people saying that I don't look my age, and I think that definitely has something to do with my hairline, because that would make a big difference. And just more self-confidence, so I think you create that for yourself. In the long run, having that more self-confidence, you feel like people are seeing the difference.